Thank you, uh, Peter and Mark. That was great. Before we move on, we'd like to share a video from our Japanese customer, Embel, who was an early adopter of ARM laser technology and have been working with that for several years now. I'm Shin Araka with Mitsubishi Electronics in headquartered in Tokyo. Our relationship with Coherent will be over a decade. In 2016, we imported the first ARM lasers into Japan, and we found this laser uh, might be appropriate for welding process. ARM laser itself is very stable and can optimize the laser power. Also, we can set the laser power from 1% to 100%. This is a big advantage for us when we make a program. In addition, ARM laser has quite strong durability for back reflection. That means we can use the laser with 90 degrees to the material without any loss of beam efficiency. Thanks to those strong points, we can reduce the sputters, cracks, and porosities that could be uh, critical for the welding process. These strong points enable us to utilize the arm laser for the materials that would be difficult for welding, for example, aluminum and copper. We will keep working with Cohen team as well as our partners to expand our laser business. We're grateful for the partnership with MBEL and look forward to uh, supporting and working together uh, in the future as well. So now that we've heard about manufacturing strategies, we're going to shift gears a little bit and focus on scaling and how to get from concept to production. So in this uh, section, we'll dig into process development. We'll see a practical example. And we'll also learn about how field integration plays a role in scaling. And uh, at this point, it's my uh, pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Mr. Tanisan from our Japanese office, who is a business development manager for uh, automotive and battery manufacturing in Japan. Shige, over to you. Thank you for the introduction, Naganas. I'm Shigeto Mizutani, business development manager for automotive and battery manufacturing in Japan. I'd like to present a process development collaboration for prismatic battery cell manufacturing. Last couple of years, we have received a number of process development projects, and it's rapidly increasing by about 400% in last 18 months in Japan. Today, I'd like to highlight our achievement in aluminum can cap welding and bus bar welding. I'll explain how we work with the customers for process development, overcoming complex challenges, and for benefits to the customer at high speed mass production. As announced last December, Coherent is cooperating with the 26 for tanky welding solutions. Why we are doing this? Because the customer wanted to have faster process development and complete support from one point of contact, which now Coherent is offering. Battery manufacturing requires a high degree of productivity and quality. In order to optimize the welding process, ARM laser has big advantage of profile optimization by controlling laser power of center core and the ring core independently. By combining two six scanners, this high power laser system is capable of high speed, high accuracy, and high precision process. And it covers large scan field, which is required for high productivity. Also, this system brings you the high degree of flexibility for process development in prospect of mass productions. If process monitoring is required for diagnosis at the application lab or quality control at mass production, various options are available from us. Let's have a look at some example from customer cases. CanCap welding is one of our successful applications in Japan and also globally. 
What's important for good weld is reproducible hermetic sealing for mass production, which means wide weld bead and stable penetration at high speed. In the picture on the left, I'm showing that laser can control the penetration depth and the bead width independently. It gives you design freedom compared to the other lasers for deeper, shallower, wider, or narrower geometry. Hardware change was required to adjust weld geometry for conventional lasers, but not for the arm laser. If high and the high speed video on the right. Obviously, the molten pool is quite calm without any spatters. The ring beam supports free heat to make a high quality welding as well as a hermetic sealing. One remark in this process. There's a heat sensitive plastic insulator close to the process position. The ring beam power input has to be considered to minimize the heat affected zone while maintaining wild sealing uh, weld. Furthermore, one Japanese customer has reported that too much heat conduction could cause a risk of micro cracks inside the weld bead because of aluminum oxide. This high speed and high quality welding has to be reproducible in large scale field over and over in mass production. In this case, customer needed us to utilize a full scan field of 350 by 220 millimeter at the process speed of 350 millimeter per second. This is a challenge because the heat can accumulate in some area of the part and the process characteristics may differ over the area. For example, too much heat input can cause deep penetration and damage the internal components of a battery cell. In this process, we keep the ring power at four kilowatts to create a wide ceiling bead and, and change only the center power between two and 2.6 kilowatts to control the weld depth at the high speed. If needed, we can change the both power in the center and the ring independently in tens of microseconds, which is a unique feature realized by the arm laser with the 2.6 scanner. This type of process optimization and high-speed control are benefit not only for the can cap welding, but also for the bus power welding, where the parts are sensitive to the heat input. So this is an example of welding aluminum bus bar on a battery cell terminal, which has the heat sensitive part. The temperature at the part of bottom needs to be below 90 degrees Celsius. The heat input uh, needs to be minimized. However, the certain width and the depths of the weld are required for the strong joint. They are normally a trade-off relationship. As you can see, our achievement, we were able to reduce the heat input and also satisfy the weld geometries. Arm laser has huge advantage of beam profile customization, allowing us complete the process optimization, speed, geometry, and thermal control. The video shows that ARM is even capable of reducing the spatters. These, example uh, these examples of complete process optimization without the compromising any of the target parameters are convincing battery manufacturing customers in Japan and worldwide that Coherent is good partner to develop and implement mass production solutions for battery welding. That concludes my part. Now I'd like to hand it over to Matthias from 26 Hayek for more information about scanner optics. Thank you. 
Thank you, Shigeto, uh, for a very nice presentation and uh, yeah, the very nice uh, um, application examples you showed us. Um, so now I will hand over and we'll show you a bit uh, what we are offering here in regards of the remote welding systems. So uh, first off, uh, I would like to um, show you a bit uh, what we are doing here at 2.6 Hayek. So this is a product portfolio um, here uh, we are offering. And um, yeah, this reaches from uh, laser brazing heads, as you can see on the left side here with a high tactile, uh, tactile seam tracking head, um, over to the um, yeah, laser welding heads, um, uh, where we have a, what we call the fixed optic uh, or fixed focus heads, um, which is, for example, the high modular or the micro precision welding head uh, micro head. And uh, of course, uh, uh, remote welding heads, the 2D head, um, high motion 2D and the LSK, the 3D welding head. And um, yeah, uh, on the bottom, you can also see our vision system, the high vision. And next to it, we are also um, yeah, uh, quite uh, famous for our flat sheet cutting heads. Uh, here, uh, it's a FSC shown in the picture. And um, last but not least, we are also offering beam delivery components, which is the uh, light, light cables here you can see, or the uh, uh, fiber receivers. Um, but this talk should focus on, of course, on the uh, remote welding heads and um, our vision system. So what Shige showed quite nicely is that uh, you have so many possibilities by using um, two six remote welding heads with the coherent arm laser. So what we're offering hardware-wise here is a very high optical performance by using a feeder lens, um, by using um, high performance coatings. And um, that's uh, why we can um, yeah, um, handle very high power um, up to eight kilowatt, 100% duty cycle, or even higher 10 kilowatt uh, when you're lowering the duty cycle. We can make use of large field sizes uh, of um, 200 times 300 square millimeter or even more, uh, which you could see in, in Chigito's uh, presentation uh, for the um, uh, battery ceiling, uh, battery can ceiling. And um, also the systems uh, offer very low focal shift and high back reflection uh, resistance. Um, yeah, next point here on my list is the laser power adjustment, uh, which can be yeah, done uh, very accurate and um, yeah, uh, um, in a very detailed way with our system uh, up to an internal resolution of less than 0.004%. And with the arm laser emitting already uh, from 1% of its maximum power, uh, you have a very uh, um, uh, we have many possibilities in your process. Last but not least, uh, the remote welding heads offer a very um, fast and accurate positioning in the X and Y plane by um, the galvanometers we are using, and uh, when you have when you use the RLSK also in the in the Z direction, and this gives you a processing speed in the end of several hundred millimeters per second, and yeah. Um, uh, gives you a higher laser on time in the end and um, yeah, the highest productivity you can get. Um, now I would say something about our uh, software platform and uh, our vision system. So uh, with the vision system, we give you the possibility of having a full position control of your laser beam while processing with it. So um, as you can see here in the examples uh, on the left side, we have different algorithms for different applications or tailored uh, to your application um, to say so and um, giving you the possibility uh, to um, yeah, control the position of your beam on a micrometer scale. And there we have, for example, the edge detection on the top um, picture, um, which is also called seam tracking. Uh, we have a feature detection on the lower picture or a detection of hairpins for electric motor welding. And uh, what is uh, important for us is that uh, it's still easy to operate. And um, yeah, even though we offer a lot of features with our software, um, it's completely integrated in our uh, customer acclaimed uh, software solution, the RLSK Studio. And uh, as you can see here, um, you have the live camera view and you have all the controls for the high vision um, 
position detection system. On this slide, uh, I would like to give you yeah, a short example or a brief uh, example here uh, on what you can do with these uh, um, features and these possibilities. So we have here um, um, yeah, an example for what you can do with a power control uh, with a RSK and the high motion 2D in, com in cooperation with a coherent arm laser. And uh, the great thing here is that you can individually yeah, set the power level for each the center spot and the ring um, or the center beam and the ring beam of an arm laser uh, for each in or for in the, uh, for each seam point of your seam, um, and this works in real time. And the same you can do with a weld velocity uh, during your process with a focus position, so defocusing when you're using a 3D head. And here in this picture, you can see um, yeah, uh, how it looks like in the RSK Studio software when you um, set up the seam. Um, you can either edit it in the RSK Studio software or load it in uh, from an external source. And here's a short video uh, on this, how this looks like um, doing the screw weld um, with the arm laser and um, uh, the RSK. And you can see a really smooth process, uh, very low spatter um, and very few spatter and um, it looks really good. And you can see here also top side, bottom side, uh, really nice uh, laser spot weld. And here we come also already to my last slide. Um, so uh, when we are talking from concept to production, uh, we also have to have a look at process observation and quality assurance tools. So what we offer is that uh, we uh, ensure a complete uh, compatibility with all common quality assurance tools. And yeah, in the end, um, yeah, you have a really reliable remote welding system, a really reliable laser, but um, yeah, with the help of quality assurance tools, you can also monitor the systems and monitor if you have a degradation uh, um, time after time, if you have a, um, I don't know, cover slide getting dirtier and uh, uh, less process uh, um, um, light coming back and so on. So one example here is uh, seam failure detection. Um, here are some tests we conducted uh, with 4D, with a company 4D. And um, you can see in the signal you get back from process, uh, like the piercing process, um, like, um, yeah, then uh, the next signal is a homogeneous material mix, uh, you can see, and therefore you can also, um, yeah, see if there's a defect in the, in the seam, uh, if there's better, if there's a gap, and so on and so on. And on the other side, um, we are also working together with less metal laser techniques, so we can offer uh, the remote welding heads also um, together with an OCT uh, solution. Uh, which gives you the possibility to directly measure a weld penetration depth. And you can see here in the lower picture, the measurement uh, with the Les Miller system and in the middle picture, the, yeah, the cross section, uh, which uh, really fits uh, very well to um, yeah, what we measured with the system. And on top of that, you can do post-processing and uh, have a look at the topography of a um, welded seam. So that's it from my side. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, up next, Chris Miller um, will talk about innovative ways uh, Querent has to um, offer um, to, uh, uh, to give you a complete laser solution uh, from concept to production. Thanks, Matthias. Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Miller, and I'm the Global Service Market and Account Manager for Automotive and E-Mobility at Coherent. We've heard a lot today about process speed and quality in the applications lab. And in this segment, we will review an innovative approach to efficiently transition that application from the lab to full-scale mass production. In the automotive and e-mobility environment, a completed project provides a company with a strategic advantage by improving an existing process by increased speed or quality, enabling a new technology, or being first to market with a new feature. In any case, sooner and more efficiently a project is completed, the greater the advantage. In the 2.6 presentation, Matthias highlighted a lot of equipment components and options that must work together seamlessly to make the process successful. 
If the customer's project includes sourcing a laser processing solution, they may end up managing multiple suppliers, including the laser source, process optics, process monitoring, vision, cooling, and other accessories. As a result, the customers inadvertently take ownership of the final laser processing solution and any of the associated challenges. The field integration role is the result of coherence experience in other markets, such as flat panel displays, where we have been scaling multiple product generations to mass production for over 15 years. We learned early on that our mutual success requires continuous support and ownership through the entire process. Applying the field integration engineer approach to battery and automotive applications enables a supplier to provide the core competency to support the equipment as a package from start to finish. The field integration team partners with the OEM, the end user, sub suppliers and internal teams to provide technical guidance and expertise on the integrated system, process and application starting before installation and carrying through to production. During the process, the field integration team transfers knowledge and understanding to coherence commercial service team, as well as end customer to ensure a seamless transition once site acceptance testing and process validation are completed. Some of the key benefits to this approach include a single point of contact for all process related equipment who knows the customer's application and manufacturing requirements. A clear understanding of expectations, process requirements and desired outcome. And a reduction in concept to production lead time. In two recent welding applications in North America for can cap and bus bar welding, the end user sourced equipment from various suppliers and struggled to handle the coordination technical guidance on integration between each sub-component supplier and process support themselves. We observed where this became a load on their resources, impacted their schedule, and resulted in various suppliers owning component performance, but not the complete processing solution. In each of these cases, we inserted our field integration team and partnered with the end user project team to take ownership of the laser processing solution which included both the coherent and other supplier components. This freed up customer resources to focus on their product, while the field integration team focused on integration, application, process validation, and production ramping. As a result, both customers were able to pull in their schedules and achieve a higher quality weld for the production parts. Automotive and battery manufacturing OEM and end user feedback has confirmed the field integration engineer role as critical to their success. That concludes my segment today, and I'm going to hand it back over to Magnus. Thank you.